we're gonna talk about what it's like being productive in 2022 and why I think we should maybe think about how we're talking about productivity. You know an episode, episode. You know a video is gonna be good when you hear my notebook in the background because that means I had some thoughts I didn't wanna forget. So, welcome to the video. We're going to be talking about productivity in 2022 and I've had this video idea for quite a while and most recently I saw a video similar to the topic I want to talk about by Rowena and I was like, hey, this is like the same idea I had and then I was like, I have to now and go and do my own take on it because I was like, girl, if you're doing it, if you're coming back from my hiatus to talk about it, then I need to get the show on the road and stop postponing this video idea. So here we are, we're going to talk about productivity in 2022 and specifically some of my frustrations with what it's kind of warped into. I feel like currently it's like just a hype, it's a trend that's being controlled mostly by these white productivity gurus on TikTok and Instagram who are like living the perfect life because they're bullet journaling and pomodoring and they have this specific calendar and they do this specific thing and they have a full apple setup and this and that and that's how they're able to do 12 things a day and be rich and be happy and be successful and be doing what they want and it's just so absolutely overwhelming to see rather I find that my favorite creators are those who are talking about productivity, but it's not like a very obvious, here's 10 ways to be productive. It's more of a, here's my lifestyle, here are things that I'm doing to try and improve my life. This isn't working, this is working. I admit that I'm not able to do this consistently, but I try when I can and see how I can fit this into my life. And it's just, I think my favorite creators are the ones who acknowledge that productivity is a process. You are not going to obtain that one way of completely improving your life, right? Like, I've been there. My whole productivity thing, I'm thankful that I didn't really get into the whole guru mindset where I'm following 12 different people who are telling me about it. But I'm indefinitely a more of a relaxed self-productivity thing. I tried bullet journaling years ago but i just didn't wanted to do that for the aesthetic and i found that more recently during the pandemic this kind of productivity that i put myself in is more of a self-discipline thing and hasn't really been impacted much by the outside world it was more me acknowledging to myself that there were some things that i needed to try and improve in my life and i wanted to see how best i can do that how i can put something on the line so that I essentially force myself to do the stuff that I really need to do to improve my life. And I want to encourage some of you to do that. Stop trying to obtain this perfect productivity system and way of lifestyle. And stop listening to the gurus who are like, this is what I do every single day. And you know for a fact that you cannot live the same lifestyle as them. That their productivity life is not going to fit with yours. I'm really hoping that you stop trying to be upper middle class Tiffany with a dog, a cat, a husband, two kids, lives in a high rise in I don't know what country, Dubai, has a completely modern, modern and minimalist kitchen, has a completely organized kitchen, gardens, writes, blogs, cooks, bakes, swims, fishes, and does absolutely everything under the sea while having a MacBook Pro, a MacBook Mini, an iPad, an iPhone, and earbuds of earbuds wow airpods of course because of this beautiful bullet journal that she's selling for thirty dollars as well as her one thousand dollar productivity course that will tell you exactly how to get to where she is no it will not tell you how she got to where she is because what she's doing hasn't actually gotten her to where she is for the most part i don't know maybe some people are being honest it's a lot of other factors that you don't really know about because Obviously, a lot of content creators are putting on a face because, you know, that's how they're going to make their money. That's how they're going to succeed. And I can promise you, Tiffany does not do these things outside of the one day that she sets to record all of her content. If Tiffany does do these things, she has a lot more comfortability and space to be able to do this. 
you work a nine to five while taking care of siblings from six to 12 in the morning while also trying to pursue higher education. You and Tiffany are not going to be able to live the same lifestyle and I really hope you can come to terms with that. And just because you and Tiffany cannot live the same lifestyle does not mean you can't improve your life by doing some aspects of productivity. What you need to do is try out different things in pieces and seeing what you can stick to, what can actually work for you. Stop trying to change your life to fit the method. Change the method to fit your life. It is you who's trying to improve something about yourself and acknowledge that you are not going to be perfect. You're not going to be this 100% efficient, productive being who is able to do every single task you set out for the day. It's not going to work. We're humans, we're lazy. We can set out tasks for a day and still end up on our phones on TikTok for seven hours. It's okay. And I want you instead to acknowledge that and move on with your life. Acknowledge that some days you're gonna get lost in the algorithm. Acknowledge that and keep moving with your life. Just because you lost that one day does not mean that your entire life is now doomed. You're not gonna do anything in life. You're not gonna be successful. You're not gonna do, girl, you took a Friday off. You're, you're gonna be okay. You're going to be okay because you're putting the work in other areas and it's going to add up. So really, just come with me too. Relax. You don't have to be 100% productive. I'm not going to say don't be productive at all because I think it is wise to aim to have some form of productivity in your life, but you don't have to be 100% 24-7 productive. When those slow moments come, take them and just make sure that you're at least doing something slow that you enjoy. If you feel mindless and soulless while scrolling through TikTok, then continue to take your break, but take your break doing something that actually relaxes you and makes you feel joy. Do not just cut it and go to work. Maybe your body is trying to tell you to take that break then, so take it, take that moment. Tiffany will be okay with her 527.2K followers on TikTok. She will be all right. She's got three brand deals and a sponsorship. She's going to continue to make her money if you don't consume her content anymore, okay? Try all the different things in life. And really, I want you to kind of put that first. Trying things in life. It is okay if you're going to productivity thinking, I just want to try this and see what it does. But do not go into it thinking it's going to change everything in your life and that it's going to fix your life. Having a bullet journal is not going to fix being in debt. Having a bullet journal is not going to fix the fact that your school has a crippling amount of workload and you're also trying to do 50 other things in life while pursuing your dreams and having a hobby. And that is okay. There are other more down to the soul things that I think you can try and implement into your life that will eventually have an effect. Like I will say certain things like being pessimistic all the time, it's gonna add up in the long run. Even when something is a good opportunity, your pessimism is going to kill it, it's going to burn it alive and it's no longer going to be a happy thing for you. So fundamental things like your attitude and your behavior towards life are really what's more important to be in touch with. Thinking about how you see things, what is your lens on the world? That's, that's what you really need to be focusing on. I don't know, productivity for the soul. All these superficial things like the newest pen and headphones to make you productive and the newest app and gadget is not going to work. So, thank you so much for watching this video if you've made it to this point. If you'd like to hear, there's this concept called slow productivity that Rowena brought up in her video that I wanna kind of go into and research and maybe talk to you guys about. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't been here for the first time, then I mean, welcome to the community. If you have been here for the first time, you might as well subscribe to this point if you haven't already, because I mean, you're already enjoying it here. So might as well join the family. And once again, thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. I will be watching you and expecting specifically you.